but the time has come. Ken kindly sent us two of these, as we showed in the last video. So we're gonna have a go. I can't get anyone or can't persuade anyone to drill it. Can we, darling? Even you fluttering your eyelashes doesn't work. Nobody wants to. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody wants to attempt that. <laughs> I wonder why. I've got some tile drills. I'm just gonna very, very slowly try this. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't be videoing this. But we rigged something up. We've got to do how many holes, Carol? Five. Five? It's going up. I thought it's it was three, five. then four. Okay. It's every other oh. dip, dip, nipple, dipple. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want to call them. Okay. Every other one of these has yeah. a crystal hanging off of it. Okay. So that's five. Right. We'll Good give luck. it a go. If you don't see the next video after this, there's a reason why. if it's actually making a mark. Well, it's made a... <laughs> it's made a mark. Just don't make a crack. Ding! Slowly, slowly. Softly, softly. I'm not convinced that's working. It's not doing anything, is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm, I don't want to go in a bit heavy handed and suddenly, oh, actually. Let's have a look. No, it is. I think it's a case of slowly. Right, so it's definitely working, but. We've got to do that five times. My worry is when you suddenly break the other side. Ding! <laughs> you said no cracking jokes. <laughs> right, we'll keep at it. Unbelievable, I've struck gold. Oh, I wish. I've got a hole. Well, can you check? Have you got a pin? I have a pin. Go on then. Um, I don't have the pins for hand crystals on me, but... They're similar though, aren't they? Yes. Oh yeah, perfect. So, okay, it's only taken me three hours. So now you've got to do another four without cracking it. Oh, do you know the worst one? The worst one will be the fifth one because yeah. I can see four going perfect. Patience, darling. Yeah, someone said it's a virtue, but yeah, we'll see on that. I'll probably be on the hammer drill section <laughs> when I get to the last get one. Get the next one lined up. Okay, we'll crack on. Well, the fact that I'm holding it in my hand showing you is a good thing. We have the five holes we've gone through. So that was just using the tile uh, drill bit, slow speed, and uh, as Carol said, patience is a virtue, and absolutely... Sweet as a nut, so I'm pleased with that. So now I can get that back to the chateau, probably break it on transit and en route, but um, we'll get that up this weekend. job I've been hating. Carol hates this job, I hate this job, but I guess if someone's got to do it. Carol's decided, she actually went out of her way, I think she's done it purposely to embarrass me actually. She went out, bought me a suit ready to do it, with my bucket, sugar soap she tells me I have to use, that's what she's always used, 
But as you can see, I've got to do the high bit. But at the end of the day, someone's got to do it. Today is a good day because I've got the workers in. It's about time I went on strike. <laughs> no one said start the ceiling. Don't talk to me, I'm in concentration mode. <laughs> I taking... feel like I'm definitely back in the circuit of Soleil. You're <laughs> taking the mick now, aren't you? Does it look better? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I finally got the ladder so I can get to all the bits that I couldn't reach yesterday. Oh, I didn't show actually. Mum and Dad went out, so I did all the walls. But you can see I can only reach so high, and because they were out, I didn't dare get a ladder out. So you can see the line where I stopped. But you can see the difference it makes though. You definitely can. But um, what happened below? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you can't blame that on me, because I've got it on video that you did that, actually. Damn it. <laughs> There was some blown plaster there, so I've just stripped it back to what is solid and I'm going to bond that before we surface fill it. After I cleaned it? After she cleaned it. Just finished cleaning my section as far as I could reach anyway you can see this big patch up there that I couldn't quite reach and all the way around here how are you getting on dad getting on it's one of those jobs that you don't really see the result here at the moment do you remember yesterday you did yours yeah and, and I didn't thought, think it made a difference yeah we're gonna have to do it twice and then the following day when we saw it the bleach or whatever taken as the fact and wow so when you see it drying out, I hope you can see, actually it is, you can see it from here, actually it's making a big difference. But as Dad was doing this, we were discussing about what's going to go on this back wall. And Dad had the good idea of a taking... Picture of Mum. <laughs> Mum's shorts. I think she'd crucify <laughs> you for that. She would. So we were thinking we're going to take a photo of this. And because we're all quite handy on Photoshop, we're going to give it a go and have a play around with some different photos, different landscapes, paintings, and see what we can see works. We'll, um, we'll have a go and see what looks nice. Crime scene. I came looking for mum. She's not here. <laughs> Hang on a second. I fell down the stairs again. I actually did fall down the stairs last week. I um, fell out the window indoors. I love how you say out the window. People are going to think that you fell out I of the did. shutter. I fell out of the window. I sat, stood in the window, closing the shutters. I stepped back and fell, fell out. in. I you fell, fell in, in. In the window. I fell in and down the stairs. I've got mm. bruises to prove it. No, thanks. <laughs> Taking photos. This is what we have to yeah, do. That's just an excuse for lying down on the job. Oh, I'm inspecting Dad's work. Look how nice and clean that looks, though. Doesn't it look so nice and white? Oh, look at that. That's the bit I painted. <laughs> well, there you can see what a difference just put in this uh, sugar soap that Carol. Well, he uses it all the time, but uh, as I said yesterday, when Beth and I were doing it, you were thinking you couldn't really see what difference it was making, and then clearly that's killed 
all of that uh, blackness that we had around there and all of these walls. And when you actually come up from the hallway uh, downstairs towards it, you can actually see how much brighter it is. So uh, can't wait now to uh, we'll get prepping those walls. And then uh, it's down for Carol to come up with an idea, which I'm sure she'll tell you all about for the back wall. Take two. It made it to France, not even broken. So I'm gonna rip, or rip, take the other one down now, attach the crystals, get it back on. And there we go, Ken. We have the perfect chandelier. Well, there we have it, Ken. Again, another big thank you, but uh, it's really nice to see. We do have so many Ferte friends, um, the stuff that sometimes we get sent over, Carol gets sent over, um, but this one, really pleased that we got that sorted it's all complete now the chandelier and it's still looking stunning with the gray uh, crystals as you see there and uh, very happy so uh, on to the next one but again thank you ken morning everyone uh, i looked at the comments uh, last night and obviously a lot of you made the comment about the pictures being too high and that is correct. Uh, I, I don't never disagree with that when we do print exhibitions, you're obviously going to work on eye high. But I'll just tell you the reasoning that Carol and I have behind this. First thing is we've got to go above the radiator. The space that's to the side of the radiator, another panel, we're trying to get some mirrors in there that will work. So we'll show you about that if we find out, uh, if we find some mirrors. Now eye height, it's, my eye height is that white line there. That's what I'm looking at there. So it's only, I don't know, six inches higher than that. But if you look at the top of the window edge, actually you better be able to see that, with this height of room, if it was a, a standard house, I would have dropped that, but it just would look wrong. It would look like the whole paint, uh, picture, if you like, is dropping out of the wall. It looked, to me, it would look too low. The word he's looking for is aesthetics. It looks You're aesthetically right, right but, for me and for Bethany, or sorry, Bethany and I, we go around with our noses in the air. So <laughs> that is my eye height. Or oh, I can lift you up. And at an art gallery, you're going to step back and look at it. Yeah, we've been around a lot and of shadows. Yeah, up in the air. Yeah, so, so, so you're, you're, your comments aren't wrong, and, and they are correct. It should be our eye height, and you can see that. But in this hallway and this height, and with this radiator with the heat, I don't want the plastic warping. That's just the reasoning behind why we put it there. So yeah, if I if I quickly excuse the zoom. I'm a short if I do this, oh, yeah. <laughs> now you can see the entire height of the wall. So dad, point to where it would be if it was your eye level. So if I had this, the centre of this would be there where that white line is. That's my eye height is there. So you can see by the size of the wall, if we dropped it down it to, about to there. there, that would just leave a massive gap above it, really which would look a bit silly. And also with the window where it is. But we did lower it, it's, remember that? Yeah, we it's, um, it's central to the window as well. So it just right. makes sense where it is there. So if you put it any lower, all the proportions of just the whole room would be completely off. Well, en route to the uh, ferry, but we've just come across, we've stopped here once before, and every other time we come past this closed, but it does have some stuff in here, which I don't, I don't know, you just don't see in a lot of the Bacons. We thought we'd introduce Beth to Bacon finding. We've been to this one before. Introduce. I've been to, you've taken me to so many. Have I? So many. Oh, okay. Well, in that case then, go and find me a bargain.
and out on the street, can't cover it, but actually, that could work in the hallway. We're sat here firstly because we want to say a massive thank you to everyone out there with their encouraging comments. Um, brilliant. I mean, it takes a while to go through the comments. I try to answer as many as I can, but yeah, firstly, big thank you. But please, got to ask. <laughs> you should be asking, Beth. We're so close. <laughs> we are so oh. close to a hundred thousand subscribers, which is a crazy number. Um, if you picture a hundred thousand people. Not like, really. I can't picture 100,000 people. It's like being at a festival. That's more mad. It, yeah, it is. So we are so close. So please make sure that you're subscribed. Apparently, according to the stats, only 50% of you are. And I know sometimes YouTube unsubscribes people. We don't know why it happens. We are still working really hard for you to make the videos for yeah. you to watch. So please. It's free. <laughs> but I mean, we'll all agree, even your, our Ferte friends, that she's put so much, so much effort into the videos for, for you guys to watch. It would make a big, big trophy if she could put that in her room next week. You guys know we don't ask, like, why oh, can't I say it? Because you on. don't want to be. Hang on. <laughs> you guys know that we don't like asking you for anything, but I really, really would love it if you guys could subscribe because it makes a massive difference to us. So thank you in advance. And we are <laughs> that close. <laughs> I think we're done now, cut. Yeah, none of us are done. <laughs> well, she's dragged me back up here again. There is a reason. We're off somewhere. Mm, I think it's special. She was certainly looking forward to it. I'll tell you more about it when we get there. But what I just wanted to show you is how quiet we are up here first thing in the morning. Hello. <laughs> And this is the best time to come up to London as far as I'm concerned. No one around, they've just started up the wheel. And yes, and over the road, the Royal Horse Guards, Carol's favorite place. But no, we're not staying there. to take you on a tour of an exhibition hopefully today. Um, it's a birthday treat for myself that I asked Adrian to book. It's a, an exhibition down at Canary Wharf so we'll get there after breakfast. I am not replacing any roof tiles on that bad boy. But, we're here, Crossrail Place in Canary Wharf. And the reason you dragged me here again was? The exhibition is called, is it Illusionaires? Luminaires, I don't know. Illusionaires. <laughs> with an eye, I know that. Oh, there's a sign that tells you, the Illusionaires.
happy belated birthday. What did you think of that? That was exactly as I thought it might be. Very mesmerising, mesmerising. Um, Adrian didn't enjoy it. So. I had a good night's sleep in there. I, do you know what that reminded me of? Seriously. <laughs> Jamaican beach aroma. I actually, the first thing that came to my head out was, that's what Bridget Jones what her mind was doing <laughs> yeah when she was on the beach going i'm an angel um, for anyone who wants to see more yeah, the website is um illusionaires.com i think um and i will put some photos up on the website as well we have come to the roof garden at canary wharf and this is a pagoda and we've to come actually miraculously enough to a gospel choir event and they've let us in to take a quick video. Only in London. Let's do that next. So just for the ladies, here we have five naked men. Hold on. Are you getting your kill? I've got to jump in. <laughs> Mine all out. Please don't. <laughs> I think they took a wrong turn when they came out of the spa. <laughs> that is so cool. That's crazy. Well, I think it's not in there. Tell you what, it stinks. The fumes off that are really bad. <laughs> Absolutely no idea where they've come from. It's not like they're much on their view though. <laughs> <laughs> it's smoking. We've got to find the start of that. Let's see if we can go and do that. There's some more out there, let's go. So here we are, we found them. We've either got a choice of hot tub boats or barbecue boats. Fantastic. We're going to go and find out some more details and I can guarantee we will be returning. Aren't we, darling? Your S face. You need dipping boats. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. I think everyone's seen enough of your body. Yeah, I'm just thinking how cold it is, but I've just read. It's, the water is heated to 38 degrees. Well, not in the river. Our chateau doesn't get above 8 degrees, so <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> Let's go and find out some more. So we've just had a private tour and you even get your own changing room with lockers. Not quite sure if there's a shower anywhere. But how cool, in the middle of the London, to find something like this. Brilliant. So my apologies, the hot tubs and spas, the barbecue boats were not at Canary Wharf. They are in fact at West India Quay. We're here now, we're going to get the DLR line um, to find an underground and head to the other side of London. Well, we're trekking about here, aren't we? Don't tell me more light displays, light shows. Well, let's see when we get there. We've never been down that end as far. Um, it's a new attraction down there. We're not going to do the attraction today, but we're going to check it out for another Is that day. The Charlie and the Chocolate Factory lift up. Quite possibly, yes. 